Democratic Congresswoman Katie Hill, member of the House Oversight Committee, joins me now. She was on the conference call with Speaker Pelosi. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us now. Good evening, Congresswoman. Good evening. How are you? Good. Was there a bottom line to this call? Where are Democrats headed? The bottom line is that we take our constitutional obligation so incredibly seriously, and we're not going to be rushing to anything. What we know is that there were a number of troublesome findings in the Mueller report, uh, and it's our job through the committees of jurisdiction to continue on with the investigations and to okay. proceed uh, with caution and, and move forward accordingly. Okay, let's break that down. First of all, you said we don't want to rush. Robert Mueller had 22 mm -hmm. months, thousands of subpoenas, hundreds of witnesses. Doesn't sound like rushing to me. No, and, and he found so many things that were troubling. The first thing that he found was that the Russians absolutely 100% interfered in our election. And right. that is the most significant to me as a member of the Armed Services Committee as well as the House Oversight Committee, because what I care about the most is our national security. Right. And but pardon me, Congresswoman, he also right found, now, pardon me, he also found not a single American, a Trump official, a Clinton official, no Americans colluded with the Russians, correct? Well, collusion is not a legal term. That's one thing of note. And the other piece is that right. he, well, there was not a, I, I, you know, again, I don't even know why we keep using this term collusion, but there well, maybe was, the was found part, in maybe, maybe because Adam Schiff for two years said he had evidence of collusion, right? I mean, I, again, I don't, I don't know what, where the origination of it was, but what we well, do know is that the, tape, that the Russians, the, the Russians 100% interfered in the election and they wanted Trump as their, as their candidate of choice and that the Trump campaign willingly accepted that help. That's right. what we know. That was what the facts supported, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what? That's, that's where it ends, right? But the next piece is that there was this obstruction of justice component where Donald Trump 11 different times tried to interfere in the, in the investigation in some way or another. And that is, again, that's fully supported. The reason that charges aren't being brought is because the Justice Department doesn't provide oversight on itself. It's a part of the executive branch well, and it doesn't, on. it okay. can't. I allowed president. you to lay all that out. So there were those 11 or so instances where the president, where there were allegations he may have obstructed the investigation. But as you know, at the end of that, Robert Mueller said, I, I'm not going to exonerate him, but I'm not going to charge him. I can't suggest he can be charged. So how could you possibly no, impeach he him? No, said, he said he didn't say, well, first of all, we're not suggesting impeachment right now. But the second is that he didn't say that he's not going to, he cannot, he said he cannot charge him. He didn't say that he shouldn't be charged. He said that he, from his position within the Justice Department, cannot charge a sitting president. And well, therefore, he also he said it, it, it's not clear president. that beyond a reasonable doubt he would have been convicted on, on such crimes. Here, here's the point. Your district is one, as you know better than I, that you flip to the Democratic column. It's sort of a bit of Trump yeah. country. What are people in your district saying? If Democrats do move forward with impeachment, aren't they going to be a little frustrated? Well, so my district, and this is actually something that I was relatively surprised by, is that my district really is supportive of us, of us continuing on with the investigation. And I think it's because our district is very much rooted in service, in defense, in law enforcement, and in believing that the rule of law and the Constitution matters. So, you know, they believe fundamentally that we have a duty and an obligation to uphold the Constitution yeah. and to serve our country and to make sure that nobody in the highest levels of power is beholden in any way, shape, or form to another foreign entity, where so, the national defense yeah. Uh, strategy says that the Russians are our number one enemy. They are the most dangerous enemy, so, uh, according last to the question Pentagon. Then. And so we've got to... Yep. Okay. So last question. Are House Democrats just going to investigate the president until he leaves office? It could be, you know, four years total, eight years total. It's just going to be nonstop investigations. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. I would say that we're going to continue on with the investigations that have have not been happening for two years. We've had two years of a president that yeah. has gone without any kind of oversight whatsoever. Um, and we've got, we have, we have to fulfill that duty, right? It's not something that we went into office, that I went into office wanting to do. I mean, I ran on a platform of health care, of dealing with the housing crisis, of, you know, bringing accountability uh -huh. and transparency to Washington. And that is the piece that we're having to deliver on, right? Absolutely. So a lot it's, of it's important issues. That, you talked about in the campaign. Absolutely. Democrats talked about to take back yep. the majority. We'll see if you focus on those in the days ahead. A lot to tackle. Congressman, we appreciate you coming in on short notice. Thank you. Thank you.